In early April 1945, the United States deployed soldiers from the 6th Armored Division as part of the 3rd Army to liberate the Dachau concentration camp and help the resistance organizations take over the main camp of Buchenwald near Weimar, Germany. When Allied Commanding General Dwight D. Eisenhower visited Buchenwald, he stated words alone cannot carry the shock and horror that accompanied this tangible evidence of the Nazi regime's systematic practice of genocide. The Nazi regime murdered six million Jewish people, in addition to millions of other victims in a planned program of extermination. We as human beings must never forget these crimes against humanity. We must study and understand the record of the Holocaust, for it is through remembering history, however horrendous it may be, that we're able to remain externally vigilant against such acts of hatred from ever happening again. This year we honor the memories of those who died in the Holocaust and pay a humble tribute to those who survived. One such survivor was Eli Weasel, a young boy who was in prison and orphan at the Auschwitz concentration death camp. He was liberated by the American Armed Forces and having nowhere to go, he became an American citizen. Weasel grew up to be a writer and a human rights activist, ultimately being awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1986. Many of you may know the famous quote by Martin Niemöller, in which he says, first, they came for the socialists. I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists. I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak for me. Let us use these words as a reminder to continue to work together to actively fight against bigotry and hatred wherever it rears its ugly head.